I'm now uh, displaying uh, the turbulence intensity rows here and the effective turbulence intensity as function of wind speed uh, up here and it's uh, too high we need to to get this lower somehow and one strategy could be to uh, shut down the turbine when it's um, when the winds come from the neighboring turbines then in that way you could uh, avoid these uh, strong uh, loads when you are in the wake of, of the other turbine. And to make it a little easier then I'll select a side here in the middle of this road and uh, then I can right click on the turbine say here in the object hierarchy and then select edit sector management rules from the pop-up menu and then I uh, I, I want to um, avoid the wind when it's come from this direction so I take this slider here uh, and the red color here that is an indicator for the distance to to the neighbor turbines and I just want to uh, maybe shut down the turbine sometimes if you have a turbine file with more performance tables in it then you can uh, also select an alternative mode that could be for instance a uh, noise reduction mode and uh, maybe the, the thrust would uh, be different here and then you would generate less turbulence for the neighboring turbine. Here I'll just uh, shut it down. Um, so add this rule here and then I take my slider and move it over here. Uh, I think I want to exclude both this from the from this wake and maybe also th uh, the one the closest one or the, the second closest one here so I make this a little wider here. Uh, I could also adjust uh, the, the wind speed range here uh, and then maybe I should tell you that there was a company saying that they had some rules that uh, uh, for instance if you have a turbine here then they want to exclude uh, all the directions where any effects from this wake would, would, would uh, hit this turbine here so uh, that may make a much, much uh, larger sector here especially when they're so close as they are in this uh, uh, a little stupid example, uh, but uh, we'll go, just go back to, to this fixed direction here and uh, add the sector here. And then uh, we'll see uh, now we are going to, to watch this uh, service intensity, effective service intensity curve and see the if there's any improvement. And yes, now we are under this green curve, which was the one for a category B turbine. Um, then we could go to the to the neighboring turbine here and then uh, there's a little change here also uh, I have um, it's uh, easiest to see if I show this these uh, screen jumps which I made before here so uh, you can see this is what it was before and then when you shut down this uh, turbine 6 then there's also a, a, a little bit of improvement here at at site uh, 7 and that is because uh, if you look here at, at this turbine uh, then uh, this uh, way here this is not from that sh turbine because that is shut down it is from number 2 in the row so <coughs> then you get a, a little bit of improvement also here at, at this site so uh, the next step was that we should uh, uh, make these improvements for all of the site and it uh, it takes a little while uh, so I'll just uh, stop recording. Okay now I've done all my my uh, sector management and uh, I'm not sure that I've found the, the optimal solution but at least I can see here if I go into wind farm overview and uh, uh, this flow conditions and then go down to this uh, list of frost problems then I can see here this uh, meant this effective turbulence intensity that now it's it's uh, uh, as required by the standard for all the, my sites here um, and uh, one place I've been a little bit smart because I this here I could avoid having any uh, section management because I know that this side here is shut down when it's seeing the wake from from this one so this is not producing any wake for for that turbine so then I didn't need any management here but it's it's uh, pretty hard to get an optimal algorithm 
uh, and I have not yet found a way to um, to to make an optimization uh, for for this. But you, some people they complain that it's hard to do all this editing inside Watch, but at least you have the possibility here to go into to edit, and then you hear from then you can uh, save what you have got, and then you can. Uh, uh, I think it's an Excel file, and then you can make more rules in Excel, and then import it again and see, and check the the, the management inside what. So um, this is of course uh, wonderful that we can solve our project by not running the turbulence, but uh, then we don't produce anything. So the big question is that uh, what is the cost in production here? So uh, we can go here to to this uh, production menu, and then you can uh, watch this number here. Uh, this is the wake loss uh, with no sector management, nine and a half percent. And then when we close this, then this become come larger here. And then you can discuss is that uh, is that uh, reasonable, or should you maybe uh, make another layout of the wind farm?